Hey there, it is. It's Dan. And Rob. That's us. And you are with the My Body Melt. Today we have a topic to discuss. I think we always have a topic to discuss. Yeah, we've got, a, we got a lot to get off our chest. It's coming off our chest. All the time. <laughs> Today, <laughs> today's topic is, what's oh. today's topic? Today's topic is etiquette, do's and don'ts in the gym. This will be a freaking doozy. So, pay attention. Rob. Yes. Okay. Okay. I might back in this. Up. He's starting the car here. He's like the narrowest. Oh God. Columns ever. Yeah. Whoever designed this was like I don't know. Whee! Structurally challenged, All right. if you will. We got it. Okay, we're good. Etiquette do's and don'ts in the gym, and I am actually uh, calling this from the Emily Post Institute. I figured I'd do something different because usually. Uh, the usual sources, men's fitness, men's mm. health. Yes. You get it from Emily Post. You're getting it from the real deal. You're not messing around. They know etiquette. Well, and also I was thinking, too, with this topic is usually we tell people not to work out in a gym. Ideally right. Ideally at home or work out wherever. But if you are a person who wants to work out in the gym, that's your thing. Yeah, it's your problem. <laughs> no, it's your prerogative. It's not a problem. It's hey, just... Attention. The whole thing is we'll wind it up at the end into a shameless plug for our product. So just wait. So You'll see. That. Okay. So um, first one that I had here is, and these are real basic things. These are mm. things that you should know. We're, we're not animals. We, we have deposable thumbs. Speak we, for yourself. We, we use cutlery and we ex engage in civil conversations. And well, somewhat. 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 <laughs> half man, half beast. <laughs> 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 so, so these are real basic things that you should know, especially if you're a gym goer, goer at this point. Um, so the first one is wipe down the equipment. Oh, nothing better than wanting to use a chest press or a shoulder press and the person before you get off and it is dripped from top to bottom in smelly, gross sweat. Nothing like sitting yeah. in a puddle of somebody's DNA. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a real basic one. Oh, here comes the sun. Oh, here comes the Insert sun. Insert that song. Comes clip right do, 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 do. Oh, where is everybody? There's no one around. I know. It's like... End of the world. You, you were smart. You prepared. You had your sunglasses. I, I do am. not have I'm, my sunglasses. That's right. Look at me. I did not leave them at that place again. Okay. Well, we could go there again. That'd be fun. <laughs> I'm fine with that. So anyway, okay. Wipe down the equipment. Yes, number one. Uh, don't hog the machines. You know, basically, don't camp out and live there. Get off your phone. You know, move quickly between sets. One of the things that we always stress, especially in, in the mind-body melt, uh, the workouts are, are quick. Mm. Um, everything's on a time basis. We're not, you know, we don't cater to the typical 10, 12, 12 to 15 type rep thing and then rest for five minutes in between. So, um but you see that in the gym. We're both uh, yeah. we're both veterans of uh, gym goers, and we are both veterans of the training world. And there's nothing more irritating than bringing somebody that you're training, and you have them at a good clip, they got a good pace going, and then whoop, you just hit a wall because somebody's just sitting there on the machine. Sitting on their phone. Sitting on their phone. Mm. On their phone. Or just staring into space, but typically on their phone. So don't hog the machines. Do not... Stay on the machines for a long period of time. That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> okay. Mm, I was going to number three. Um, reset the machines to a low setting. Oh. This is actually a I good one. About that. This is actually a good one, and I didn't give it much thought either. But think ah. of it this way. You know, some lunkhead gets on the machine, cranks it up. Lunk alarm. <laughs> some garbage trail man gets on the machine. <laughs> And, and, and just puts everything, the whole, whole stack on the machine. And then some elderly woman walks in, <laughs> and she tries to move it, and she like, can't move it. And she ends up throwing something out, or risking, I mean, in all seriousness, you yep. can risk some serious injury, because people don't think. They're going to get on the machine, the person that wasn't thinking beforehand, and then the person that gets on the machine. Wow. So that's actually, I think that's pretty, pretty invaluable stuff. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, I've seen it too. I've even made a mistake too where I sit down. <laughs> more so in the past because most of it's body weight stuff now. But in the right. past, even recently too, I remember sitting down and I'm like, wait, wait a second, I can't move this. But I can imagine <laughs> someone like. <laughs> All of a sudden I got weak. Ooh, I've huh? sapped of my strength. Ah, What's going on? Uh, and then you look down and you feel foolish and you're like, geez, I don't know what happened. But, uh, you know, and. You know, dually, we we should also be cognizant of that as well. And mm. I probably wasn't in the past, so I like that one. Emily Post uh, is reaching out to me. Wow. Okay, cool. next one. That's three. We've had three so. Far. We've had three so far. Number four, limit your time on the cardio machines to twenty-five to thirty minutes. Ah, uh, we spoke with us in prior videos, but please, please tell us more. Tell us more. <laughs> the honk of the horn. It's a two thumbs up. <laughs> two honks up. Um. So basically, you know, don't camp out on the machine. It's, it's just like sitting on a machine. Somebody is waiting for that. It's just proper etiquette. Hmm. Once again, there's that word, etiquette. We, we talk about um, um, when you get on the machine, doing cycles, if you will, or um, somebody's calling me. <laughs> um, hang up on them. Hang up. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Um, but we talk about doing circuits where well, you can do a circuit on the machine as well. And you can accomplish a lot in 25 to 30 minutes. Mm. You know, to get on there and just drone on for 45, 60 minutes at the same pace, at the same angle, isn't going to do you any good. And it's just going to create um, a, 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 an environment. Ooh. <laughs> I was waiting for something really, I don't know. really epic. <laughs> yeah, with all that. I don't know. an environment. What the hell was wow. I saying? No, it's going to create a fractious environment. Okay, mm. that's a good word right there. Ooh. Where you know, and when we used to work in our gym, um, probably a fourth of the time, half of the time, when there was some sort of a conflict or issue, somebody was waiting for the machine. I put my name in, and I wanted that machine. There's my old man again. My old man, you know, cursing at the sky. But it's usually the old man that's on the machine, and there's an old woman waiting to get on the machine, and it was just like, oh god, this is just a clusterfuck, if you know. And it's just like you gotta explain to the guy, you gotta get off the machine because you've been on for 25 minutes. Well, it's my machine. I pay a good mem. I may pay my membership dues. I'm entitled to this. And it's like we understand, sir. But see, it says on the sign right there, and you can't do that. Jesus, why, why am I doing this? Why am I talking to you right now? <sighs> so anyway, all right. So anyway. Rob did not meditate today. So. That's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> just, just get off the machine when it says so. Okay? I don't care. Get off the okay. machine when you want. Oh. I'm fine. I'm relaxed. Number five is the best one. Oh. I, I love this. Don't stare. Don't stare. <laughs> don't stare. Don't go to the gym and figure that this is your own personal candy land where you're going to look at women in leotards. Okay? Or men in or m whatever. If that's your preference. Spandex. Yeah, okay. whatever your preference is, don't stare. I mean, I, I gotta be candid with you. I mean, as an offshoot of this, I mean, locker rooms I've gone into <laughs> give me the heebie fucking jeebies, okay? Um, you know, you go into the sauna, and it's like, all I wanna do, all, you know what? Don't stare at me, just acknowledge, nod. Yes. Okay. A nod's good. Okay, don't talk to me. You know, you get these people, chatty caddies, they come up to you, they not just stare at you, but then start engaging in conversations from DNA up until that afternoon. I don't want to know. From, from, from I, conception until... <laughs> to right now, I like this that. moment. That's a good one. Yeah, I stole that from Dennis Miller, by the way. I'm going to steal it from you. Okay. And you can you. steal it from us. Yes. So, um, us. Us two right here. Yeah, don't stare. Don't get into the creepy stare thing. Your man, woman, child, whatever. Yeah, okay, he's got something to say. So, when I was training a lot, that guy yeah. almost drove into a fence. Wow. Oh, that's fine. Can I see it in the camera? Um, <laughs> What's that when I was doing a lot of training in the gyms, uh, I had a lot of male clients. Um, I mean, it's varied over the years, but there was a time where it was literally like almost all guys I was training for a year. And a, a woman would walk in, and she'd be attractive, and the guys would just <laughs> stare. And... You know, it wasn't like a looking or whatever. It was a good 20 second, 30 second stare. Yeah. And inevitably, whoever the woman was would catch on to it, be creeped out, and leave immediately. So, if you're a dude, I recommend 
If you are gonna look, say something. <laughs> or look and nod and move on. Yeah, it's like staring into the sun. No matter, I don't... That's e another, that's a reference from Seinfeld. You know, if, ah, you, if you, get, you get a look, yes. you stare into the... You, you don't stare directly into it. You, you catch a glimpse and then you move on. It's quick. You know? It's quick. It's and that's human nature. Don't get me wrong. You see somebody who's attractive of either sex, whatever your preference is, mm -hmm. you're going to take a gander. Mm -hmm. Okay? But that deep penetrating stare, it's, it's just not good. Because, yeah, it invokes a lot of things. It, it uh, It's definitely, it puts people not at ease, but unease. Unease. So... Just uh, either get better at looking and nod and move on. If you're going to stare, say something. And don't be a creep whenever you say. And, yeah. The other thing, too, is you know, most people depend. Oh, I'd say most people go to the gym just to work out and not be stared at like a piece of meat. So why don't you do the same thing yourself? Yeah. It's not a bar. It's not a bar. It's not a bar. Go to a bar if you want. Go to a bar. Or, or a gym with a bar. A gym with a bar. That's yeah. even better. Sure. You could go up there. No. <laughs> <laughs> so by the way don't be a creep don't stare okay number six adhere to the fitness facility rules i kind of evoked that when we were talking about 25 30 minutes on uh, the cardio machine mm. you know they're going to typically have a list of things you know don't swear don't litter the ground don't run don't do something stupid uh, you know exercise wise mm. um you know, it's just, you know, it's their place. It's their rules. I know you're paying a membership and you feel entitled. Don't feel entitled, okay? <laughs> you're nobody, okay? You're and, and trust me, I'm nobody. He's nobody. He's he's a little better than nobody. He's better than me. Ooh, I like that. But <laughs> I'm somebody. You're somebody. So I, I want. I'm, I'm gonna put a that person that's gonna pull over right in front of me. Ooh. Look at that. I'm going to put a picture over your head right now. There's the thing I saw online and says that uh, it's a two-part thing. It's a, the first part is no one gives a shit about you. And it's like a sag. No one cares about me. And like the second part is like no one gives a shit about you. No one gives a shit. And the guy's like, yeah, I can do anything I want because no one gives a shit. Seven. Number seven, think about personal hygiene. Okay. Um. <laughs> the things I've smelled in a gym. Ugh. I have a funny story, a little anecdote from many moons ago. I used to belong to a Gold's gym. Uh, I used to work. Are they at, still around? Yeah, they're still around. Okay. So I, wor I, I worked out at a Gold's gym. I used to take uh, the commuter rail into work, and there happened to be a Gold's gym right around the corner from where I used to park my car. So I figured, okay, get out, go to the Gold's gym after work, get a quick workout, and go home. So. I was working out there, and as, as you can guess, there were you know unusual cast of characters that were there. But there was one guy in particular that, and I and you usually think, you know, you smell things and you go, is it is it just me? Or is everybody mm. getting a whiff of this? Mm. And I literally think that the guy, the stink, was literally bone deep. It was in the fibers of his clothing but it was in the fibers of his skin oh and goodness. his bone marrow i mean it was it was really bad the I mean, clear his body. clear the ah. room bad Ooh. and i remember some guy came up to me and i'm working out and he comes up to me and goes yo dude he was looking at me he goes he goes is it just me he goes that guy fucking reeks <laughs> <laughs> and i go it's not you it's you're right. Oh. Thank you for that affirmation. What, what did it smell like? I don't know. It was like, uh, I, I, I don't know. It was just like, uh, you know, it's like the scene from Anchorman. It's like, uh, it's like Indian food in a baby's diaper. Oh, God. Type thing. It, wow. it, it was just like really just B.O. Just mm. really bad B.O. Like cheese. Like cheese that had been out in the sun in, in Death Valley for like. <sighs> 10 years and then in a trunk of a car for another five it was just horrible fucking horrible so i guess what you're trying to tell people is <laughs> where was i going with this yeah just just you know what just clean before you go take a shower mm. use deodorant mm. you know just be aware of other people especially like if you're in a group class or something um wipe down your mat 
Oh yeah. That's another thing too. That's but well, that get, we get into that a little bit later. But um, you know, just take care of your personal space. Mm. You know, I'm so cognizant. As does my breath smell? Do I smell? Mm -hmm. That you know, it's it's almost uh, it's fanatic for me at this point. So I'm way over the top as far as that's concerned mm. about cleanliness. So I, if I could take three or four showers a day, I would. Um, but some people don't, and they don't care. It's like, oh, smell my musk. It's like, yeah, terrific. Yeah, yeah. And it's appealing to you, but not to everybody else. Mm. So, um, yeah, just clean it up, okay? <laughs> I like how you ended that. It's good. Um, oh, and this is a good one. Number eight. Mm. Don't be late for personal training or group fitness classes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very apropos. Do you, do you want to take this one? Uh, no, it's all, you're on you a know, roll. You know roll. exactly what I'm talking about. You're on a roll. Okay. Uh, we are prone to take yoga um, because we know the in instructor very well. She's a very, very competent, very accomplished teacher. And her pet peeve is when people show up late. Mm. Now, you would think, okay, that's a pet peeve. That's her issue. But in all fairness... When you start a class, especially a yoga class or any type of class, mm -hmm. there's a rhythm that develops. And as both of us can attest to this because we've both done group training, when somebody comes in late, that just completely throws off your rhythm. And you're it's all thrown off. It's thrown off. Ah. Thrown off. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. Also, personal training, I mentioned that too. Yeah. I, I had a guy that would routinely be late, like ah. at least a half an hour. So I started, you know scheduling our sessions a half hour earlier mm -hmm. so that he would technically show up on time even though yeah. he was already late was oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't name names so what's the first name mark come on <laughs> he's a good guy great guy but jesus it's like you know i got a life too and you know what happens if you've booked consecutive appointments one after another it's like a domino effect mm -hmm. once that person's late everybody else is going to be late so it's not only inconveniencing me the trainer mm. but also all of your subsequent clients so the group session throws off everybody's game throws off the um the instructor it's rude to everybody else who actually showed up on time correct and if you're doing it from a personal training standpoint what you're just kind of telling somebody is you really don't care so you just don't care, care. so care mm -hmm. okay Caring is sharing. Mm. Okay, so we're moving on. That was pretty good. Okay, so the final thing, <laughs> the final thing here is, uh, nine. Keep the gym locker room clean. Okay, now, oh well. Here comes here comes a rant, right? Uh, you've got you've I, got. I think this video is yours, so you keep going. I, I'm enjoying okay. this. Okay, so I'm very cognizant. I I'm do this not. with a with a home, home even hotel rooms. I think well, somebody's got to clean this up. How, how am I going to reflect on that person? Even if I don't know that person, if I just leave my towels all over the floor, mm -hmm. um, or if I don't wipe up you know, the sink or the counter after I shave or, or do something of that nature. The, the place that we used to work at, um, there were a lot of older people, so you can guess that it was like a horror show in the bathroom. It was like my personal Vietnam sometimes. There were guys, I swear to God, I'm going to go a little bit, you know. Cover your ears, children. Yeah. Cover your ears. This is definitely R-rated material right here. I swear to God, I saw a guy shaving his balls <laughs> in the gym. Okay. Now, I'm all for manscaping, grooming, what you call it, metrosexual behavior. But, Jesus, do it somewhere in private. In front of everybody. In front of everybody. Oh, here are my balls. Okay. Uh, I got the I got the bick, and here I'm going. I think going we, should to town. we should definitely have a video on Jim horror stories. Oh, and, uh, horrific! That'll be our next one. So stay yeah. tuned for that. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh no! But I heard I it. But I mean, I talked to some of the female trainers, and they said it was even worse in the women's room because ah. you just have these women walking around naked. I mean, guys do that too. I get it. It's a it's a locker room. Be free, be open. But you know what? Be cognizant of other people in there too, because even though this kind of deviates from keeping the locker room clean now keep yourself clean keep yourself wrapped up no one wants to see you okay no one wants to see your body maybe you're proud of it that's all well and good but you know what civility and decorum still have to reign supreme okay and it really comes back to 
the etiquette of wiping down your machines. Wipe down the gym. I mean, excuse me, wipe down the locker room. <laughs> wipe down the gym. You just wipe down the gym. You take a wipe and you wipe down every inch Right of the now. Gym. I want you to wipe it down right now or you're going to jail, okay? <laughs> you will go to jail. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. After you. After you, by all means. Go ahead. A fuzzy coat on her steering wheel. Oh, she wants to to keep her hands warm. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I I know I'd lose grip. I, uh, yeah. I don't know. So uh, basically, that's it in a nutshell. I didn't know if there was anything you wanted to elaborate you, on. Um, uh, you want to talk about uh, garbage bail man? Garbage bail man will be in our next video. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have names for everybody. Uh, to, uh, protect the innocent and not so innocent. So you kind of it was good. You went through a lot of things. Most of it was common sense, but yes. but. There were, uh, <laughs> there were two, I think the point number five you made about, you know, changing, or maybe it was number three, I can't remember at this point. <laughs> I've been driving for ages, I'm just tired of driving. No, I'm kidding. Um, you mentioned just like changing the weight stack and adjusting it, that's huge. I'm actually going to start doing that. Uh, yeah, that was one my I workouts. never even thought about. So it's a good one. It was probably something I never did in the past, mm. but now I'm going to be cognizant of, even though I don't use any machines. Um, and this kind of circles back to everything mm -hmm. yes. with the mind-body melt. Coming back. That's my two cents. <laughs> if you want to avoid any of this, any of this ridiculous foolishness, just partake of the mind-body melt, okay? It solves all your problems. That's you don't true. have to deal with the hassle of driving to the gym, oh, yeah, I see finding parking. Oh, I forgot my shoes. I forgot my socks. I forgot my underwear. Mm -hmm. Mm, I got to go back home again. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, reruns the Seinfeld are on. Oh, this looks good. Mm, I'm hungry now, and I never go to the gym. And then you beat yourself up. Okay. Wow. So and then and then getting to the gym and finding the parking and then going in the front and say, Oh my God, I forgot my pass. And then somebody's going to give you the the fifth degree or, or nth degree about oh, uh, and this has happened. This is why <laughs> I used to work at a place, and it'd be like. Oh, you don't have your pass? Okay, you have to sign in. I come in every day. You know me. Am I going to come in here with a bomb gun? No. Okay, it'll work out. And then you finally get out there and people are staring at you on the gym floor. They're staring at you. They, they're they're occupying the jeans. The you know, all this, it's just... It just it, 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 Pretty it's, much every point you said. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> He's a headache. I'm talking. Yes. Every point he mentioned is a reason to not go to the gym and just work out with... Work out with us. Work out with us. Don't you like us? We won't bother you either. <laughs> we won't stare at you. We won't right stare. Now. Yeah, we won't stare at you. We might through the screen. Ooh. Ooh. Um, we're, we're not going to rah-rah you. Um, it's just straightforward. Follow the workouts. Follow the meditations, the affirmations. You will see results. You're going to save a ton of money and a ton of hassle and headaches going to the gym. And... You'll look and feel You gonna say it or no? You can say it. I'll, I'll let you take the reins on this one. Oh yeah. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> what?